So in some images of the moon, there are hatch marks on things, but in other images, the hatch marks are behind things. Total conspiracy. No, it's just about how photos work. We're going to talk about that today on Vintage Space. If you look closely at any Apollo images from any of the moon landing missions, you'll notice very evenly spaced crosshairs or hatch marks in the image. These were actually very common in large-scale scientific photography and also aerial photography, the idea being that these regularly spaced marks would give the scientists using the images some reference point when using very large negatives or photographing something that could be distorted, say flying over an area with an airplane. The marks were achieved in the Apollo images using Rezo plates. A transparent glass Rezo plate, or register glass, was engraved with the grid markings and placed between the film magazine and the camera body immediately in front of the film plane. This meant that every time an Apollo astronaut took a picture, opening the camera lens and exposing the film to light, that light would also engrave the hatch marks on the film. So why are the crosshairs visible in some images but either hidden behind objects or completely invisible in other images? Well, it has to do with the way film cameras work. Film is basically a chemically emulsed piece of plastic. When that film is exposed to light through the lens of a camera, it changes the chemical composition on the film. Once it's developed, it gives you a negative that you can then use to create the photograph. But too much light can overexpose an image. This is why there are no stars in Apollo images, something I talked about in this video right here. This also means that in some scenarios, light hitting a film can actually bleed out from the specific area of the light object and change the chemical composition on the exposed film in the surrounding area. Basically, the light can kind of bleed out from the specific point that is struck by the light through the lens. This is what happens with the hatch marks. They are exceptionally fine X's, and in some images, the light from something like a rock or the white stripes on a flag can actually bleed out into the area where the hatch mark is, making it look like it's disappearing, but really it's just that that bit of the film is ever so slightly overexposed. You can almost think of it as light filling in a gap left by the crosshair. So I hope that explains it, because the idea that NASA painted a moon background and put the crosshairs physically on the background and had the astronaut standing in front of it so they blocked out the crosshairs is a little bit insane. What do you think about the crosshairs as a moon landing conspiracy? Or what other conspiracies do you love to hate? Let me know in the comments below, and a special shout out to the Vlogbrothers for helping make this episode possible. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for daily Vintage Space content, and with new videos going up every single Friday, subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.